So we are heading to go pick up a broke down Ford F-150, I believe, and it is 90 degrees outside today, which is completely unacceptable. But I guess this truck went to Elite Fleet Automotive with a couple of uh, major problems and some drivability issues. They fixed uh, the main problem, which was timing chains and all that, and then uh, it wouldn't do the second problem uh, in the shop. So Nate took it for a drive and uh, to go to lunch, and sure enough, it did the second problem. So now it's stranded. We gotta go pick it up, get it back to the shop so they can see. What's wrong with it this time? We got the truck picked up, got the dolly set up, we'll raise those up, throw some straps and safeties all the way around and get out of here. All right, loaded up, strapped down, safety chains, all the good stuff. And the number one problem for tow guys is uh, with aluminum trucks, magnetic lights don't stick to them. So uh, if you look in the windshield, you can't see it with the glare, but the lights are in the windshield there. So gray area on legal, but the lights are there and it's kind of what we got. So let's go. So I know there's gonna be some questions on why I use the dollies on a four wheel drive truck when it's in two wheel drive, picking it up from the back, the front end will just roll. And yes, the front end will roll but all the drivetrain parts that make the front end spin under power are spinning while that front end is rolling if you go under one of these uh, f-150 trucks like this you can grab the front drive shaft and it's locked to the front axle it doesn't freely spin that means when the front tires spin the drive shaft and all the gears inside the transfer case that run the drive shaft are turning without the uh, back end of the transfer case turning that is pumping oil through all the uh, the uh, bearings and such so uh, Ford themselves says do not tow it with the front end rolling on the ground and I do not pretend I am smarter than Ford's engineers so I do what they say man I'm so glad these roundabouts got rid of all the traffic problems we have so much better now This truck came here and it had timing codes and when right when you would initially start it, it had a pretty good clatter. Uh, so we were like, all right, timing chain and phasers, all the guides and tensioners. So we did that and apparently like three days ago, it's been fine ever since. I come down to the shop, actually my wife dropped me off, came down to the shop, drove this thing home, ran great go to drive back to the shop doesn't run great so <clears throat> I'm just really good at duplicating concerns yes you are really good. yeah if you have even the slightest concern with you have vehicle, you will find you, the problem yeah I find your problem Jordan's all worried about it because he thinks I'm oh Jesus that's what coming down means coming down again I let Nate drive one vehicle, he breaks it. It's warm, you're in shorts. I, I, dude, I. That's how you know Look at this, bad. look at this. That's how hot it is out here. I don't think it's 90, over 90 today. The humidity is less than 10%, but I am dying. I think I'm gonna, uh, you know those fishing, those fishing hats? Yeah. Let me get one of those. Just for walking to the parking lot yeah. back. Yep. God, you do that good. It's literally pushing a button. That's yeah. awesome. I wish I could do my job by pushing a button. All yours, Jordan. Sometimes I do. I'm just like, 
today or just clear codes? Yeah. Ah, fixed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Customer can turn check engine light on. Now it's off. <laughs> <laughs> Watch Thank this one is gonna run fine now too. Are you kidding me? This morning it had a traction control light, airbag light, had a wrench. Don't lie, there's nothing Dude, I'm wrong with that. I'm you serious. Just to see me today. I did. I did. This is what happens when I don't stop by the shop in a while, and they just break stuff, so I have to come see it. Yeah, I've been back one day. I had a baby, and I've been remodeling my house. I haven't really been around very much. I've come back one day. How quick does this Iron Man thing set up? Can we make some shade real fast? Freaking hot out here. I've never touched with this before. I've never even looked at it. I'm not sure how bad I'm doing right now. Gee, how many vehicles can I break in one day? Exactly. This is awesome. So easy, Nate can do it. Yeah. Now what do you do? So there's a strap that goes from here to here to hold this tight. Oh. And then on the other side. I'm not even kidding you. Brandon, I'd, you go be the strap. I, the strap. I would be opening this thing every time. And then on the other side, there's another one that comes oh, out this way. Oh. So you have 270 degrees of shade. That thing's That's sweet, cool. actually. Yeah. And there's one strap over there, holds it that way. A strap right here holds it that way. It's got legs that fold down uh, if it's windy. And then it's got lights that go in all the... The brackets here, so it's got lights. Do they the do the lights strobe? I mean, we could make that happen. I'm, I'm, yeah. We could take those dumbass rock lights off my Jeep, put them in here to get strobe lights. <laughs> <laughs> they're no good on that Jeep. Uh, all right, let's close your thing. Oh god, oh god. Yeah, I've literally never opened one of those before, and uh, for how easy that was, I kind of want to buy one now. And then that goes there. takes me three times longer to put my camp chairs away than it does to put that thingy away. What's this wire do? What if I blow some fuses if I touch it to the bumper if it'll blow, a, blow a fuse? Oh. He's trying to ground it out on your bumper. He's trying to ground it out on your bumper. So hey, what happened, what happened to your tail light? I broke it. So, dude, well, this wasn't like this. No, I, I tried my Jeep on the back and I turned too sharp and hit that and hit that. God. And then I dropped my camper shell off the back and scraped that and cracked this lens. It was, Care, all, all be, happened in one day. You gotta be careful treating a Dodge like a Ford. <laughs> Quit running. What did I just tow in here with my Dodge? Hey, that truck ran great until I touched it. Hey, fun fact. If you want to get one of these awnings for yourself, you can go to ironman4x4.com and use the cut discount code CascadeKC10 for 10% off. Cascade KC10? Yeah. I wonder if uh, I wonder if Jordan's got it fixed yet. Oh, he's got it on the lift and everything already. I must have really f***ed it up. Where did he go? I like how you just like walk off of the camera and start making your own video. I know, I know. I'm practicing. Not even joking you though, if you run a sales analysis for my business, you'll see that Fords are here the most. Yeah. If it wasn't for Fords, we wouldn't get paid. So I'm thinking that like you just grabbing my camera and going off and making your own video is the payback for me just driving in and fixing all my own stuff in your shop. That's how, that's how we roll. <laughs> yeah. You got the best seat in the house too. Yeah, right in front of the air conditioner. Yeah. Things working its ass off trying to make it 67 degrees in here though. <laughs> yeah, it's trying to heat up the hey, planet. Hey, what'd I break? What? What'd I break? I see you got it on the rack already. I don't know, that's fine. Another Facebook video just went live. If you're not following, uh, go to Facebook under the watch tab right there. And I now have a Facebook watch channel that posts a more condensed, better edited version of my videos for those who don't want to sit through the super long ones I post on YouTube. So go like and follow that. Sensor. You can see it jumping around. The bank one sensor one, which is flat line. There's no voltage going to Did it. Did you remember to plug it in? Yes, it's plugged in. 
but uh yeah just gonna dig a little more into that heater is on what are those noises over there try hard noises <laughs> okay so you changed all the timing chains and all that stuff in this truck and then nate drives it and it blows an o2 sensor cover's back on that means it's done good to go get it out of here D U N. Look at that, tow it to the shop, Jordan pulls it in the shop, 10 minutes later it's fixed. Now we just gotta not let Nate touch it. All right, later haters. Later dude, who said we're haters? The internet. All right, well that's it for that one. Uh, once the truck was actually showing the problem, uh, Jordan was able to get it fixed in about 10 minutes. I'm gonna head home. Thank you guys for watching, I'll see you next time.